worse with COVID, I don't know if you've said. GTD looked a bit smoky then, didn't it? The wheels are massive. I hate people, I hate cars. I'm sick of this job. Dealers panic, nothing will sell. Not in the mood today. Best car bought. How's the new computer on with us? It's pretty cool actually. Yeah. It's very fast, at least accelerating. Makes you feel sick. It took me quite a while to figure out like how do you unlock it and lock it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I actually quite like it. I'm a convert. Very. <laughs> makes you feel like just sick. It's pretty good now. It's like, <laughs> that's your stomach. Yeah. Now 100 yards up the road. When did that arrive? Yesterday then? Oh yeah. I thought it was coming to my house. Yeah, it was here this morning. Oh, I've got no mark because it's worse with COVID, I don't know if you said. No, but he's obviously not here, is he? So it seems like that. We're going to have to take off fairly soon. Yeah. Nate Roy should be coming in to do the carbon clean and whatever. The yeah. RS5 is over in the car park and I've got the key. Yeah. Macaulay is picking up another boat and then he'll be back, so it should only be a few hours. Yeah. It'd be good if he could take. Ben's Boxster over to James, and there's anything else over there. The note for the roof is booked in with James, but oh, okay. I, I laid the whole week for that. But well, it doesn't matter, matter. he'll do both. Yeah. He was yeah, expect, both he was expecting both. the Boxster on Friday. That's right, I think. So I can only do that MOT run then this morning without having to worry about the. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Sweet. Have we still got the back of the vehicle? Is that gone as a customer now? He's got it, he's booked off it, I put him in. Oh, okay. Week plans in the 17th. And that's for that module, yeah? You shouldn't get the other one, have you? No. Mm -hmm. No good? You can get it. Um, yeah, that's the card for the Tesla. You should need to move it because I haven't got space to spin it around. You just put it up against the pillar to lock and unlock it. And then you have to put it on the centre console in order to be able to let you drive or whatever. Uh, I will put it up there. Yeah. I'll um, have a get all the sand and stuff in a minute and have a look. What's yeah, that? Yeah, that can make it go wrong, and there it is. As soon as she tries it, it goes wrong. So you've got a lot of money back. I suppose she's already said she wants a money back. Oh, so right. Just, yeah. Just do it. Fuck yeah. That's mental. I'll do 200 miles in the plane thing, it's fine. There we go. She just has Laura in it. Uh, with your bunk. Oh, I'm feeling a stress type shit. Got everything packed up and stacked up. Should we take this so we can get some rollers with the uh, yeah. thingy on the way back, maybe? Have you rolling along in your Ranger? Right then, Tobes. Trouble free motoring. God, I'm sweating, my glasses are steaming out of my forehead. <sighs> right, first stop then is Skelmersdale near Liverpool. If it would load, I'd tell you how, well, it said it was 168 miles. How many hours that is? Four at least, I'm sure. I brought the key for the RS5 with me here. So I asked McCauley if he can pick it up, but the guy's gonna be 45 minutes. One extra stop to make. Should we reset our trip so we can see exactly how many miles we do? If I pull up out the front, do you want to run in with a key? Oh, that's there. I wonder what's just been delivered. I guess that must be our Golf. Golf GTD. Same guys last time, eh? 
Oh, that, oh god, that doesn't look good. The Golf GTD looked a bit smoky then, didn't it? Uh, it looks like it's still running there. Maybe it's cleared. Right, time to get on the motorway and hopefully get some miles under our belt. Uh, it's now saying HDC fault with suspension lowered and we seem to be coming to a stop, which is not very good. Uh, let's put hazards on. Oh God, we've got all sorts of lights and everything now. Oh uh, shit. Let's put it to neutral. Bit, to be it is all getting stickered up as well to get yeah. transfer motion right across. You know, like when you see them in town. Oh, you obviously cleaned the wheels because they were filthy. Yeah. It hasn't looked this clean since I first bought it before yeah. I put the stickers on it. What do you think you, you couldn't do anything with the roof? Yeah, it's kind of problematic. Oh, yeah. It's making it worse. It's quite cool, huh? Yeah, they're right. right. You're like, <laughs> you drove this one out, it sounds alright. You drove some holes in the airbox to make it. It's a good setup that you've got. Do you know what? I'm jealous of this because it's, it's just what you guys do. That's what they're doing. They're they're system that from the building. They feel it's like canvasy. Yeah, uh, but it looks like it is lights. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I spent a lot on putting the lights in it, and I was like, no, that's nice. It's nice. Yeah. 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 Well, it's just, yeah. It does look really good. Yeah. But we fit them for that. Yeah. So we've done what, what size? Like seven four meters yeah. under them. Drag them up and put them up on that. Yeah. yeah. That graph, like, especially when you're on the side of the factory, I'm trying to do it, but we like doing them systems. Yeah, yeah. They're all right. We were doing one for me at some point. What? What's that? I saw I'll get you to come do one for me at some point. Yeah. Right. We did yeah. have the band at first, you know, when like ripping it all, banging it, but yeah. visible, thousands of trees. As you can see there, the trailer comes in every night. Oh, yeah, thousands of trees. And it said, maybe a spark snapping at Yeah, I've got Good morning. It is now nine o'clock. We didn't get any footage of arriving here at the Ibis. I think Toby was about to die. He was that tired, and I was pretty damn tired too. I'm very tired this morning. We are now 312 miles into our journey, which should be just under 600. Our next stop is only eight minutes away though, which is to see Dave, James, and Wayne, maybe even Howard, at the lovely car company. So we'll head down and see Dave and the boys, and then get on the road to G3. This is this is the, the lovely car company. Place, yeah. <laughs> We've come to see it just before you move on. <laughs> is this exactly what you're expecting then? You never know, do you? When you take it. Uh, do you know what's really funny is obviously how I knew you before you ever did YouTube or whatever. But you do you come past and I spotted Wayne through it and I was like that is the place. God, it's just, yeah. just going about the normal business. I know it's exactly how we go about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's still like, like, so like fanboying. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just normal people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just well, normal men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wayne's normal. a superstar, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wayne is the superstar. So, yeah, Mini's still a year as well. I didn't, oh, no, want, I didn't want to bring it out, but oh, it's sold. <laughs> no, it's sold. It's going on Thursday. Yeah. yeah, got the money in the bank for it. Everything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. But we sold, sold it. So originally, I was like, oh, we're going to get six and a half grand, and we got five <laughs> grand for it in the yeah. end. But still a profit, you know, that's it. Do you know what's really funny is that it's like, yeah, definitely this will sell. Why is it always the cars that you're like, yeah, yeah, that'll definitely sell. Oh, it's never sell. forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, ones yeah. you're like, oh, I don't really want that. Someone comes yeah, yeah. in the next day. We were yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. exactly that the other day, weren't we? The ones yeah. you really care about always sit about. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to not be emotional with them. Yeah. 
You've just yeah. got to look at it as well, a metal. For you. <laughs> yeah, like you were that, um, the, uh, oh, God, what is it? Uh, not a Fiat, the other one, you said you'd reduced it. Alfa Romeo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, did you sell that in the end? Yeah, yeah, that's gone now, yeah. And I don't think I even reduced it necessarily, but, yeah. I don't know, that was one of those cars that I was like, yeah, I, that's a bit of me, that is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I didn't know whether it would sell well or not, and it didn't, so, yeah, lesson yeah. learned, I guess. Yeah, they're the ones that, yeah. If I don't like it, then I think, right, that'll sell then. That'll yeah, if it comes them. in and it's in dog yeah. dirt brown. Yeah, like, yeah, no yeah. one will want a brown car, <laughs> yeah. it would go the next day. What, like that uh, Eclipse that we sold? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah let's all get in there. <laughs> right, what are you having to drink? Uh, I'll have a tea, please. Tea, yeah. yeah. So if you have lots of room, you'll deal with them in a bed or... Yeah, it's then not... You sold 40 cars, didn't you, the other one? The other month, yeah. And down... is, that for, is that from 25 advertised? But... 30 advertised, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. My problem is, I, I, that month, it, see, like, that, that was an alright, as in like net result. But you didn't bloody hell, that's what I've got to do to get that. If I sell 40 a month, yeah. you know, I sold 30 the other month and I like, just wiped our nose, basically. Well, that's what happened to me last month. We were doing 25. Some of them, we had like, there was this Tesla that had like three grand profit in. And then when I got the accountant come back and she said, you've made 500 quid this yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, people I don't get it. Work my bollocks off this is for the entire month, like stay late and everything. And we made 500 quid because yeah. we had put an engine in another car. Um, I've paid for this like garage, you know, paying surveyors and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, well, engine repairs, we spent 12 grand yeah. on like repairs. So it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that month where we sold 42, I think it worked out that month. We made like 12 or 13 grand. I'm like, brilliant, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the next month, it's like, you lost a grand, and the next month you've made two. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? It's no, like, it sounds great. And, everyone, and I just, but you just think, that month I sold one car yeah. that had seven grand in it, another car that had like five in it, yeah, and another 40 on top of that, and yeah. still you only end up with. Yeah, yeah. This is what people don't realise as well is that. I think some people come and say, oh, it's, I said something about, oh, I've had like a grand commission out or something. Mm. And they're like, oh, that, that sounds really greedy, that. But it, it, it no. isn't, you need all these... All the bits have got to the come. The bits, because it's over the course of a year, you've, you've got your overheads are that high. Your bottom line is really low, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? To, to, to sit there... Like, well, well considering the amount of turnover. Is that, if you, so if we turn over about two and a half to three million a year, yeah. And we're lucky to make a hundred grand. Yeah, yeah. Which is nothing. No. For three What's that like? Turnover. Three percent or something. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, this year, if I turn over three million, I can be lucky to make, I reckon. Because August, you can write off, can't you? Mm. August, we're never busy in August, we've got one month left. And I think I might make, I'd be lucky to make 60 grand. Mm. Which is not a lot of money, is it? It look, yeah, it, for, the, for all, like, when, when it's a 24-7 job, yeah. Yeah, 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 and you think, yeah. God, I've worked that hard for that, yeah. and yeah. had all the bollocks, yeah. all the warranty bollocks, all the warranty bollocks. <laughs> you need a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get a t-shirt for that. Um, but I know it is going to get, because, you know, we have had good years, oh, yeah. you know, it, it wasn't going to go, like, you know, you could have a little It's, it's ebbs and flows, and next, it? Yeah, it's ebbs and flows. You know, it's just, uh, and we're in it for the long game, aren't we? Yeah. Good little setup, actually. Yeah, it is good, especially with all the windows. Yeah, yeah, it's spot on. But hopefully, is this your shed? It is no, no. <laughs> no. a This is Howard's. This. Oh, Howard's. Okay. Howard, yeah, you've seen Howard, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he bought this about. Gonna be two years ago now, aren't it? Maybe three years ago. And we've had it up for sale for three years. Sold, really? Sold it twice. Yeah. And twice the people pulled out, didn't they? Because like people that buy these cars are just complete weirdos. Well, we had we had that one woman from Wales, didn't we? Who she wanted to buy it, and she's like, "Yeah, I've had classic minis for years, and this that." And then she looked at the old MOTs on it. It was like it's got an oil leak. I was like, "Yeah, it's a classic mini." Yeah. It's like they came out of the factory of oil leaks. That's how you know it's got oil in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you know it's topped up if it's got a leak on it. Yeah. So she was just a waste of time, weren't she? And then a couple of other people who sniffed around it, but never had anything. Yeah. 
yeah. never had anything permanent on so it. So it's, it's not, well, it, if we've got a spare space on our to trade, yeah. it'll let him go on, but it's like sporadic, you know. Yeah. But it'll, it, it's on like loads of other free websites. Yeah. You know, but in my head I think, oh, maybe if I still had an eBay Motors account, it might have sold quicker. Because mm. that, that type of stuff's on eBay, isn't it? Are yeah. you on eBay? I am, but I'm tempted to knock it on the head, but... Now, how many have you got advertised on there? I think, uh, I think it's like 15, 1700 quid, something like that. Is it that much? It's not easy to buy, either way, it's not easy to buy stuff that's got a good margin, is it? Everyone thinks you can just go to the auction and every, every car has so got three grand in it, <laughs> yeah. but it hasn't. So the stuff that I find that people are a bit nervy of, so at the moment we're doing really well with like Discovery Sports, Evokes, especially if you get the 2.2s. Yeah, so um, are they more um, reliable, the 2.2s? The 2.2s are, yeah, yeah, other than the Ingenium engine. Um, and I guess a lot of traders are just like, nah, not going to get involved with it, which means you can have a really good margin out of it because they're still really desirable yeah. retail. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You've got to take a risk. You've got, it's like eco boosts, you know. I've mm. done really well out of eco boosts and yeah. didn't have any problems. Yeah. And then I had two where they buggered up straight away. Oh, well, after a few months or whatnot. And then it scared me. But then if I look at it over the period of a year, two years, 80% of the eco boosts were absolutely spot on. Yeah. And they had really good margins out there. So what? You've just got to yeah, just know, take, it up. Yeah, take exactly. a hit every now and again. Good morning, back in the land of Barrow. I feel alive again. I don't remember this door lock. I don't remember the door lock on there. Um, it locks you in, they let you out, and then if you unlock it and lock it, it doesn't do anything. Let's go then. It does say on the window, please do not leave the keys in car. Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, good. Good. I mean, I don't really test drive them, they're from an auction well, place. No, no, uh, this one, like, is this a 3 litre or a 2 litre? 3 litre. Yeah, this this is nice. It, it pulls. So they put pipe over there without anything. Oh, we've got service too, but oh, okay, that seems right. I don't know. I don't know what this has. And a lovely coloured interior. Oh, this has got a big old pack. Oh, Mercedes owners. Right, I'm gonna take my lunch. I think. Oh yeah. Hold a trip away. Is it nice? Not too bad. Yeah? That was your trip around. Alright, it was too bad. What are these cars like? They're nice actually. Yeah, they are nice. Um, the Mercedes is a bit scratched up in a few places. It's got a dent in the boot, scratched up corners, and um, the door lock's a bit finicky. It wants to work, doesn't want to work. Fuck sometimes. What, the Mercedes? Yeah. But the Audi is really nice. Yeah, it should be. It's quite low mileage, isn't it? Yeah, it is really nice as well. No, but it didn't start when I went to pick it up though. Because of flat bats. Flat battery. The struggle to start now, but bloop, bloop. Right, I'm gonna go take my lunch. No worries. Uh, it's not to say, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you get out here with purpose. I was gonna ask something. I thought if I walked out here, I might remember, but I can't. I'll stop doing that, I know. Just rubbing my lip. Genie's belly. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. What, what's, what's the score with the M3? It's still blah, 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 blah. But I 
Steph was quite far into diagnostic stuff yesterday, so I was only using the, the very basic diagnostics. So um, it's all back together. I just haven't, I haven't dived any further in. Um, There's a couple of cards I think down the farm I'd like to scrap. Yeah. And we also still got more uh, scrap matter, haven't we? So maybe yeah, if we do the scrapping stuff tomorrow, because yeah. I can give you a hand. Lo I'll yeah, yeah, perfect. Load up the scrap. Oh, you might be able to take the truck with a car on the back and the trailer and. Yeah, so we've still got more battery, a load of batteries down the farm as well. Yeah, so um, they're, they're a bit of a pain. It all depends who you get. If you get like the sound guy, he'll help you like segregate, segregate it all. But if you get like one of the older grumpy ones, they'll, they'll, they'll like, refuse it and you have to do it yourself and then bring it up. Well, all I ever do with... Because um, it was like, oh yeah, we've got to separate that. If you go to Bridgewater, yeah. Yeah. just put all the metal, regardless of what it is, because yeah. we'll just get rid of it as iron, yeah. in the trailer, yeah. you drive down the Weybridge, mm. is that what you did? Down the bottom yeah, yeah, Weybridge? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you go and empty it out, come back and weigh again, yeah. and they'll that's say, oh, like 600 kilos of heavy iron, yeah. Yeah, and then batteries are separate, and other than that. Yeah, that's what I did, but they had to look at it, and they're like, oh, that's got to come out, it's got to come out. That's why I was it's, But I don't understand that, because yeah, they what... sort it, and it's like, well, I'm willing to accept the lower price. Half of it may be like aluminium, which is worth more, but it I don't care. Depend. I think so it depends who you get. Less. It depends who you get yeah. now, I think. Yeah, job's worth. Yeah, I've got one of the older guys, and he was like, oh, did you get a phone call about the cat as well? No. Well, they just stole it. <laughs> they fucking stole it. Like, what should we do then? Cool beans. Um, I guess for the Schmain time, we'll get you to. Let's go and have a look at our cars. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Yes. Commercial, mate. Van. Oh, it's a van one. I've had a sick one. I really like commercial. Do you know, do you still get charged going over the bridge going to Wales? No. And this isn't the 90s, right? Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're such a knob, aren't you? I'm glad you going. <laughs> No, it's only recently they changed it. it no, like recently. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, ten years ago. Move it down, doesn't it? And it's a bit scuffed up, and there's a dent here. Yeah. It's a bit scuffed up down there, and like here, look. Like, it's fussy. It's quite difficult to see when you're buying an auction, isn't it? Especially when you're looking at a camera that comes from that side. Yeah. Okay. And then this door's a bit like, yeah, it doesn't really want to open sometimes. Other than that, it's quite nice. Should get you doing the videos, selling them. Yeah. Scuff no. up here. This, that, this door don't work half the time. <laughs> oh, cool, isn't it? Yeah. Funny enough, we were with someone yesterday, and he's like, "Yeah, A7, like, best thing I ever had. Sold loads of money, all that sort of stuff." So. That's twenty-one inch wheels on there. Twenty-one. Woo! It's not a deranged transit van, though, is it? Cool. If we get the disco parked up. That reverse part that over here. It's got a lock. Um, so we need to film with that. We need to film with the amp era and all. Oh, the, the amp era is sick. It's so cool. It's quite cool. I like the door cards that have got it's, drawing. Yeah, it's proper. It's, when I got on it, I was like, this is funky. It's proper weird. Funky. What else have we got? Oh, we've got the Volvo as well. Yeah. Haven't we? Should we get the key for this and put it over in the car park over the road? Yeah. Yeah. And then... Oh yeah, we've got the Golf GTD as well. Mm. We might have to take some of the car wash. But they're not that stuff. far off, so maybe... I can come out and help as well. Yeah, well, I'm here as well, so we'll do some... Yeah, seeing as it's quite, we've only got a couple of hours, we're not going to do any scrap in the day, we can do that tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. And then, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I'll go John. Do you want a break? Do you want a brew? Uh, yes, please, yeah. He did say this door was. You're never really in a rush, are you? If you're in a crash, you could probably give it ten pulls. Should be no problem. Do you want to come see the A7? 
I'm having to do a bit of a shuffle because Macaulay, bless him, has tried to be helpful reverse them up the forecourt, but he must have forgot that we've got a new one-way system that goes in that, the opposite direction of that. So I've got to spin him around now. And no one ever seems to tidy up the forecourt but me. It's really starting to piss me off now. Because look, the cars are way out. It's sort of full gaps in between cars when it doesn't need to be. So again, the forecourt just looks an absolute mess. There's stuff everywhere. I have been away for two days. And they've been down. Mark wasn't here. They also haven't got Adrian. Uh, Toby wasn't here. Not that he does anything. <laughs> Useful. Um, he's here for your benefit, really. Not, not mine. Uh, so yeah, no one ever ties that up, but I, you know, I'll do it. I don't like to moan, but a little job for tomorrow. When do we get a Dacia? I was thinking that. Oh, that's probably a part exchange again. Oh yeah, it was, yeah, part exchange again something. And it had that boffed in corner, didn't it? Some of the lady phoned up, she agreed a price of her, then she's, oh, I've crashed it into the garage. <laughs> so maybe it must be back from James. J repairs now. Check out the A7. The wheels are massive, you're right, 21 inch. Absolutely huge. Ridiculous. That's a big slab of car, isn't it? Oh look, it's got a Ooh, battery is a bit flat, he did say that, didn't he? And almost out of fuel. No, that's okay. Trackpad. Mind out, it's beeping a lot. We need OBD11 to turn that off. What a nice hand wag. Look at me, King Kiss. Got a heads up as well. 70,309 miles. Anyone in the market for a. This is a. I think a 3 litre 2D V6. It does sound quite. 2D V6 y, doesn't it? Um, so, I can't, i got to go out on the road and turn it round. Because there's no space. It says to release the parking brake. No, I don't want to. I do like a Audi 3. What this really 240 brake horsepower? You can map them to like 400 horsepower. I'll probably add more, but quite easily to 400 horsepower. I think. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at the size of the boot. Oh, it's electric. Look at the size of that. It's the size of a small apartment in London. Even me. <laughs> I mean, just about. <laughs> Apparently, when will this be coming out? They might have seen our video where we saw this. Do you think? Yeah, it's in the same week. Huh? It's in the same week. Okay. Toby says you probably would have seen this anyway. We went off. We were heading off on a 600-mile road trip, and this arrived. Um, just like plumes of smoke coming out of it as it was off the boat. I'd only just pulled back up here to drop a key off and I just saw it pulling off the truck and smoke was going everywhere. So, oh, that's not what I need to see when I'm heading off on a long journey. But apparently it was just like flat as a pancake battery wise and I think they must have like tried to keep jump starting it and were cranking it for quite a while so they'd probably been cranking it without it firing and there's just diesel in there and it cleared. So it's not actually smoky it was just that more pebs and they couldn't get it started. So we need a new battery for it, but otherwise it's going to be quite cool, isn't it? Nice GTD. Shame it's a Manuel. Black on black, murdered up. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's, had a, it's had some kind of awful reaction, the poor thing. Look at it. It's all swollen and lumpy. We'll sort that out, obviously. Um, we don't want people thinking that Whoever's owned this last us has got some kind of horrible brain disorder. We'll just put a normal plate back on. Who thinks that looks good? 
it's not even a private plate. I was thinking this when we, got, we were driving down all the motorways and everything on our road trip yesterday. And uh, I've seen these and it's just a regular number plate. If it said Joe on there or Tobeski or something, I'd understand if you really wanted to make it stand out. But if you just got the uh, 65 un. Um, why? It doesn't even, it's not even, why are you trying to attract attention to your number plate? Have you got them on yours, Toby? No. I don't know. You don't? Good luck. Uh, right, that's it. said oh I probably did turn up or it's a few days late but it just seems like we hand parcels to our local postal lady and she's literally just like <coughs> yeets them into a hedge and they're never to be seen again so this time they're definitely going signed for recorded or whatever tracked I'm gonna put a tracker in it that's what I should do just get one of those little what actually happens to our thingy maybe I'll do that as a fun video um, that's it, so I had to run out of merch. If you want to get any, you can get it at shiftingmetal.co.uk. Lovely mugs, caps, t-shirts, hoodies. If you buy some t-shirts and hoodies, that'd be amazing because I've got like, loads. I hate cars. Sick of this job. <sighs> Too fucking busy. I can't be doing it all. I was like, oh, you meant to check every car, you should do this, you preach using vehicles. I'm fucking busy. I check hundreds of cars every day. Fucking bastards. I'm fucking tired of making videos and getting stitched up. Towards me quite threateningly, then. Yeah, the keys were still on. I said, I've got a video of the SOK, so if you do that first, then I can go out of it. Right, well, six months after. I'll do that first, quickly. No, 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 because I don't want to drive it and get it dirty before you. Oh, sorry, mate. Right. I'll get it out. It's alright. Don't worry. I can, it's, there's no way I've got to have it done, mate. I misunderstood. I do apologise. I'm only joking. <laughs> Yeah, so the black SLK is clean. Yeah. Right. Oh. Well, it's hand car wash clean. clean. Yeah. Same as that, but that hasn't got our number plates on it, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. That, like, the only way I can describe clean and driving that thing is it's not like a real car. It's brilliant though. Oh, it's awesome. I don't really like it. Um, so the blue Fiat 500, that's the one that's on the fourth floor. Yes. So we've yet to sort it all it's out. It's not quite ours yet, but it's going to be. Okay. But would but you say that's a farm car now? Judging by well, no. age and mileage and price. And well, I mean, what, what have we given for it? Like two? Two, 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 and it's four, three on a four, four. Mm -hmm. 
three and a half on the five. I mean, I think it's because we sold it recently, and it's only 50,000 miles on it. Yeah. I think it's, it's just a space that could have something more expensive. What, you're not, that's right, that's fine. I'm just thinking about things to take to auction. Here is some space because it's bloody full up, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it could be a lot better organised. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, you know, obviously I'll bow to your decision, but I think it's, you know, it's a nice little Fiat 500. And people want yeah, I mean, as is the smart inch. car that I brought back yes. from Yorkshire, but I've given that to Sophie to sell yeah. because. But they're both under five grand. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, as, as by rights, yeah, 100%. Sorry, we'll try and just move some other stuff out of the way first and then we'll. Yeah, if it needs so to go. I'll feel less ruthless about space. <laughs> if it needs to go, I'm not going to be upset if it goes. Yeah, I could take the S1 and the Maserati today, just yeah. auction, and then just out the way and yeah, underway. Yeah, they're the obvious two, definitely. And then it's a bit of space, isn't it? Something moving in. Oh, we could drop off the old Ampera on the way for a charge up, and then it'll be charged, melarged. I thought the Ampera charges itself. It does, but I don't know if it charges itself all the way up. I just didn't want to have to sit and wait at Tesco while it charged. I thought you were going to do that with the Tesla. Or are you going to do it with both? Well, I don't want to do it with either of them. That's the annoying thing about EVs, isn't it? S sitting around, like, what do you... It's only like 30 minutes, but what do you do? I, you know, I don't stand around for... Play Mario Kart. Very long. Huh? Play Mario Kart. I mean, you could in the Tesla, yeah, but... God. Let's do that at the end of the day. Well, most people probably, but not me. He's back. Oh. There's no Persia down there. I've got the key, but there's no Persia over there. Um, also, it doesn't lock. Uh, I did wonder if it was a lot properly. Yeah, it just goes. Doo -doo. You've got the key for the Peugeot, but the Peugeot isn't there. Yeah. What, the 208? Yeah. That's gone out, isn't it? Has the, oh, the keys has it? Oh, someone's given them another key then. 308, yeah? Blue no, one. that's a 308, not a 208. That's the one. Um, Where's the insignia? That, that's not down there as well. It is, or isn't it? Oh, it is, it is. Do we know which cars are actually out on loan at the moment? Is the Avio with the insignia um, around? The insignia is on loan, the Avio is outside, the okay. 208 is on loan with the girl in okay. the paint. So, uh, Avio the then, Avio should be outside. Chevy. Uh, uh, Right, you hear the solid. Six months, sir. Yeah? Yes, please. Right. Then I thought, oh, the passenger door's open. Oh, there we are. Quality. Told you I love this car. Ironically, I made a video, as you probably know, slagging this thing off. So I don't like it at all. And uh, I never was like, oh, you never sell that car. I probably said this again. And I was like, nah, it will. Someone will buy it. No one wants it. So, uh, sending it back to auction. Should be under M for Maserati. Oh, you can see that. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Dealers panic. Send stock to auction. They can't clear it. Nothing will sell. Going under. That's what that should be here. The uh, tight length thumbnail. 
sending it all to auction. Can't sell. We have sold four cars this month. It's only 11 days in. So. You know, I had someone in the comments the other day. What did they say? I was, it was a video I did like two years ago. My like top 10 questions that car dealers hate. It was all a bit tongue in cheek. Just like, you know, oh, how many owners it had? And then someone will say like four and they go, or how much discount do I get for cash? And we're like, we can't take cash these days. We don't want cash, you've got to pay, you know, all that sort of stuff. Something that seems to have a bit of a resurgence, that video. Anyway, and um, someone said, I wouldn't buy a car from you if you won't accept cash or whatever their umbrage they took with me. I wouldn't buy one from you. I was like, oh, well, no loss, you know. I don't want you as a customer either. And someone was like, well, you do want him as a customer because if you didn't have his money, you'd be working at Tesco. Oh, well, A, is that for I'm working at Tesco? But B, do you really think I've worked this long and hard for that one, missing out on one car sale is going to mean, oh God, suddenly I've got to go and take up a, you know, an unskilled job. I'm, I'm a qualified plumber, for goodness sake. I'll just go back and do that. It's going to take, it's going to take a little while longer than a couple of missed sales or a year of quiet sales for me to really start panicking. People take themselves too seriously, they need to lighten up and enjoy life. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I will stay perma angry, but you know, at least I try and make it funny for myself. Anyway, what am I doing? The ADHD medication hasn't arrived yet, you might be able to tell. It doesn't even mean prescribed yet. Yeah? And then we'll go. Yeah, I'll go grab the Avio then. You ready, sir? Who was it that was using a cherry can the other day? Oh, the Transformotion lads. This is what you need to get, lads. VP Racing. Race jug. Yeah. Twist off your nipple. Stick your schnozzle in the hole. filling out the fuel as well. <laughs> right. It's probably about three litres. That's enough to get you to the uh, auction. Don't lose that tray plate. Two shit boxes to drive away in our Beauty Avio. Premium. It's not plastic. Oh, maybe it's not. I thought it might be plastic door skins. They're just so thin they feel plastic. And what? Oh, it's a Problem. Tires, because I'll be able to fill the tires on top and strap them down. Maybe. But anyway, don't mind. Oh, so they said it said in the big sign they won't take radios if it's got the ends on it. But I don't know. I'll take the radio, there's one too, we still have make the meat on with the meat on, I know. Let's cut that off. Do you want to give that to Mark? Mark? Do you want to cut something? Oh, yeah. yeah, it won't be on the trailer, will it? Seems like, yeah. Uh, that means I can sell the cats like that. We can take them the cats in separately. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, I'll, no, I'll bring it there. We've got the other side. Yeah. I'll bring it down over there. Apparently, you 
put some rubbers aside for this ages ago. Okay. Can you put some rubbers aside for these ages ago, maybe? Rubbers? Yeah, go on there. If not, I'll just make some. Make mine. Uh, oh, that's from the Nissan, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, if anything, they were... In there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I'll, uh, well, I'll take them then. Oh, what's the time? Do you have much to do? No, mate. Do you want to help me load this up? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I'll give you so a hand moving. Shit like that I can't take, unfortunately. Like, plastic stuff's still going to be done. Yeah. Yeah. So, aluminium corner, battery corner, all steel. Yeah. Yeah. I can't find them. Right. Uh, no. no. I stuck it on this morning, we'll see oh, how it okay. goes. I'm not sure about this. In the work, in the work um, office when I came in this morning, oh, so right, it okay. came off, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't putting these on, that's too risky. No. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I'm not sure about any of this. To, um, I'll speak to Jason about the detail yeah, yeah, and you know, what the price would be, but I'm sure we could deliver it, it wouldn't be a problem. So okay, all right, I'll let Jason know. Once we have a call, I'll get, give you a the call back. Or nicked or so, so they just bought all right, no worries, cheers. Bye -bye. Bit, yeah, it's completely wrong colour, yeah, so we do All right, mate. No, no, honestly, mate, if, if you've done everything you can, you've done everything you can, it, you know, I can explain that to the customer, I'm sure. We can, you know, we're not miracle workers, it's an old car. So, yeah. I'll, um, are you. Okay, yeah, let, yeah. let us know where we can come and get it. Nice one. Thanks, James. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Tell that. I'm not sure about that S5 guy. He's a bit of a Well, he's just said, can we deliver to Walsall, I think he said. To figure out how much the price is. He said, well, I'll have it for sure then, because the finance has gone through. I'll have it straight away. Oh, I, th I think. Cause did you post a video of that guy yesterday or something? Yeah. Yeah. Because suddenly I was like every idiot is made for enough. And what's the horsepower? Or was one? 350. Right. Thanks, mate. Bye. Um, what was the other one I had? I think it was him. Because he basically said, Finance Scott, is it first response? Did he say that? Or did he not say it? Yeah. Uh, but basically, yeah, I said, I, I can't get it to you tomorrow. We're too busy, blah, blah, blah. It needs whatever it needs. And um, he went, oh, all right, I'll call you back in the week. And I'm pretty sure that was him, so it was a bit flaky. Last day, mate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well, she's got some money for Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some money for Joe. So, you've got 20 good in cats, cat that converts. Oh, was that from this time or last time? No, this time. They still haven't given me money for the last one. They didn't even mention it. Um, and then, £472.99 for everything else. Including the car? Including the car. So that's 500 quid over a haul. What do you need from me then? Um, emotional support. Emotional support. Um, is it? <laughs> For me? No. I'm too innocent. Um, I don't want to do at the minute. Um, Still cars, perhaps I can, I can prep cars for a bit. Yeah. Oi, oi. Hey, 200's going out today, today. Yeah. Hey, 200? Yeah. What's that? 
Mercedes. The hatchback thing, that one right there. Well, it's fine, yeah. I'll say about it. Yeah. One thing I know is the seat to the face of the seat before you move back. I'll go straight away then, get them back of that. Alright, I'll go straight on that. Mm. Uh, nice uh, convenient, uh, unlike the box there where you have to rip all that apart. Um, it's got a pet that you can pull out of the fuse box to send power to the um, bonnet switch. to the edge of it and then just uh, to, uh, and then you can pull your don't try and start it from that <laughs> it's not in the mood today Thundering. Simmons, yeah. who are the Taikur, just so happens to be in the area. Mm -hmm. He wants to donate this to charity. Okay. It's a genuine G-Shot, brand new. Really nice. Like, really nice. Yeah. Um, he said that he bought himself a watch. Yeah. And two days later, this was gifted to him. And so he's never worn it. And um, he would like to uh, offer it up for charity. That's very nice. He's given his number, just in case you did want to. Oh, um, bad boy. And he said that he's had the, the time done. He said to just to work out how to do the time. No, they're always a nightmare, these yeah. changes. Look at that. Shout out to James Simmons. Thank you very much. That's very kind. He won our golf tag hoyer. And now we can raffle this at zero cost for Jack. Very nice. Really Thank you nice very chat. much, James. Yeah, really nice chat. Yeah, really nice chat. Yeah, really nice chat. Yeah, really nice chat. Sponsorship, where is it? So it's been quite a nice end of the week actually, really nice of James to bring in this G-Shock watch um, which you probably already said we'll put on the raffle site and will be you know 100% proceeds for Jack. And on that theme I actually had something arrive a couple of days ago but I haven't said anything about it yet because honestly I was having such a rubbish week just feeling crappy and stressed out and whatever, it's mainly Toby's fault because he's off next week. 
so he's leaving me to edit everything and just the stress no, he's got it all sorted oh, he's a good lad um, but I've been putting off doing this because I want everyone to know about it but I just feel like I'm going to get emotional hopefully I won't anyway so I had an email from a chap called Victor Law who's from Northern Ireland and he said he wanted to help out he'd, he's an ex Ulster constable so he's he said he's got a bit of a I've seen it all attitude type thing but seeing us trying to do stuff to raise money for Jack and whatever had uh, touched a nerve for him so he wanted to contribute but he wasn't interested in our Audi A6 as he called it which was the Audi RS5 but he wanted to make a contribution and but couldn't do online banking so could he send a check or something and he said Did, would a thousand pounds be over the top and that's what he's done I said it's it's a, it's a load of money so only do it if you can it's amazing make it out to Jack's dad so that he can put it on the thing and that is what he's done he's sent it recorded delivery in fact sent a nice little hand written note we said, I hope you appreciate the upmarket writing paper. Uh, in close of the donation, look after yourself. All the best, Victor. So there is our check for a thousand pounds, which we can give to Ben, who can bank it for Jack, who is currently in hospital or whatever. Um, so I'm glad I'm not, honestly, even just thinking about doing this earlier in the week, I was tearing up, which would have ruined my street cred because I am well odd. So. Um, so thank you so much. It's very sweet and um yeah it's really nice after we have had a bit of abuse about all the raffles and things that people are really positive and want to get involved and i think the the raffles are going better now and we're going to do more and thanks to james we got this going so a big thank you to everyone who has got involved and i think at this stage we must have raised maybe three or four thousand and we're really close to meeting 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 and reaching which would be combined meeting or reading uh, the minimum tickets to to actually draw the RS5. That was one of the things we kept getting criticism for was that we didn't meet the enough ticket sales to sell to, to actually give away the cars. So I'm feeling very positive because we have got well, we've got 13 days to um, well, that's at this point. So when you're watching this, oh, this will be this will have just come out. After it's been drawn, hopefully, and someone's won it, I think, because we're like, what, one or two weeks behind? We've got one going out on the next one, which will be on the 20th. No, because we've got next week's, which is the one that's just been this week, will go out on the 20th next week. And then this week is the one. Oh, no, there is for this one, isn't it? Yeah. So. Oh, getting confused. This is the stress, see, with him being off. So, yes. All right. Um... So this will be one week before it goes. So maybe we should do a big offer then. Let's make it, I'll make a discount code. I'll try and remember. And we'll call it uh, James Victor in honor of our two generous donors. And we will give you an extra, what were we gonna say? Throw out a number, 40% off. On top of, we're already doing buy one ticket, get two tickets free. I just want to sell as many tickets as we can, even if it means that we can give away the RS5 and we can make a donation to Jack. The idea with the raffle site is that we do make a bit of money as well, hopefully, which we haven't really done yet. But at some point, you know, we'll do enough raffles and then we can start doing bigger and better prizes. And maybe I just jumped the gun being excited and went for the RS5 when I should have been doing two or three thousand pound cars. I don't know, but we might try that again in the future. Either way, as long as we someone can win it, and even if I have to pay the fee out of my own pocket for Jack. It'd just be good to get it done and someone take that car. So yeah, that's it. Should we head outside on a, you know, different note and uh do best car bought, best car sold? Have we sold any? I don't know. Um and biggest headache and biggest win. Right, we'll head out and we'll do the best car bought, best car sold and all that sort of stuff. We've got, it's actually quite early. Normally we're doing this at like half past two, half an hour after we've closed. It's now actually only five minutes to 12, but Toby wants to film it, edit it, and have it all done before he goes away at two for a week of camping. He's barely even born and he already wants holidays and things. Right, so best car bought, best car sold. Um, I can't even think what we sold. I just walked out of the office where the list was. 
The M5 went out of the day. Maybe we'll just say that. I think it, technically it sold last week or something. And I, I already used it as a car that sold all week, didn't I? That's gone today and I haven't made a video on it. So I apologize to everyone who wanted to see a video on that. I'll just have to buy another one at some point. Uh, but just didn't really get a chance on that. So, best car bought. Um, I guess we'll say the Volvo V40. It's quite a nice thing. We bought this through some kind of trade contact and uh, from a Lexus dealership, I think, actually, up north somewhere. It's quite a nice looking thing. I've never really spent much time in these of this generation. The last one of these that I bought was the one that was clocked, and there is a video, Toby or I we might be able to remember to put a thing up there about the one that I bought that had been had, had a haircut of about 100,000 miles. And best car sold. What's he sold? What were they talking about earlier? Oh, I think... I'm very ill-prepared, as per usual. But they were talking about this red BMW earlier, so I think that has sold. So we'll say that's the best car sold. Best car bought, though, is the Volvo. And I mentioned, obviously, we will make a video on that, which will, by the time you're watching this, that will be out on the Barrow Motors channel. So check that in the description. You'll be able to find a link to that where I give you my thoughts and views on it in a bit more of a technical way, telling you what the tax class is and the insurance group and, you know, personally, as far as I'm concerned, all that boring stuff, but useful stuff, but not stuff we normally put on this channel. Then, biggest headache. Biggest headache is just been really busy this week. Is it this week that we were up in? We were up north doing a little trip and whatever. There were some mishaps with the vehicle and stuff like that, but it was good fun seeing everyone that we got to see and all the drive. And the trip, that wasn't that bad. It was just time consuming and just being busy anyway. I had someone messaging me, a subscriber, wanting to buy a car and I'd offered a price. He wanted a bit more and I hadn't I'd got a chance to get back to him. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, all right. Well, I'll give you, you know, I'll give you a bit more and arranged it, but it was all going to happen while I was away. And I made a fatal error and I didn't, do a vehicle score check on it and once it got back and the guys had cleaned it up and put it in the workshop went to the workshop in the showroom Jason was like you know it's a category N don't you I was like oh. I just had been too busy I'd made a schoolboy error and hadn't checked I think the problem was because I'd kept coming back to the email because I'm so busy doing so many different things that I just made the assumption that maybe I had checked it and I hadn't so that when I came back to it and I they told me I was like I'm sure I did a check I must have done I hadn't done foolish but it does happen so it's cost me about well at the moment it owes me £4,250 I don't know if the chap we got it from was aware or not I'm not going to say that he was and you know uh, to be honest I was I thought I could make a video out of it because it would be quite interesting like I got stitched up with this Range Rover Evoque type thing but oh, I'm getting a bit bored of doing those videos to be honest and everyone calls me an idiot and it hurts my feelings because I am a little bit but um, yeah, I don't know whether he actually knew or not. To be fair, I don't think he'd actually mentioned about some damage on the side of it while it was there. And it seems like most of the door locks don't work. So that's either going to have to go to auction or Sophie's going to have to try and sell it as like a trade thing with all the issues. So it just didn't pan out that well, that one. But there you are. Lessons learned. It won't have cost me that much, even if I send it to auction. If I lost 500 quid, that's the pain I have to endure to make sure that, that lesson burns itself into my memory. Then, biggest win, uh, it was Macaulay's last day yesterday, we got rid of him, so that was a win. I'm just kidding. Probably crying, actually. He was a good lad, Ab Macaulay. He's gone on to, don't know what he's doing yet, actually. He's not entirely sure, he just wanted to get away from us. Um, that is not our biggest win. Poor Macaulay, we will miss him. Hopefully he's staying in contact with us. Biggest win though, what is our genuine actual biggest win? Um, I think the biggest win this week was just getting up and getting to see uh, John O, Liam and Andy at Transformotion and then Dave, James and Wayne at the lovely car company. That was cool. And yeah, just getting to, to chew the fat with all them. Um, hopefully we'll see them again more soon. And Dave, of the lovely car company he has bought a new garage and he's moving from where he is so there's going to be videos of like him moving into his new place i think i'll probably go up and check it out maybe like once he's settled or before i don't know if you haven't already subscribed to both the car dealer pro 
channel and the transfer motion vehicle rebuilds channel then check those out because i'm gonna try and work with both of them a bit more i feel like you know like matt armstrong and the likes do like car rebuilds which i would never have the time for but maybe i could buy one and get the lads at transfer motion to rebuild me one but then again it usually ends up costing more than a good one does doesn't it so i don't know anyway i'm waffling as per joe's waffle I need to get a t-shirt that's got a picture of a waffle on it and my face or something i don't know um yeah that's it so toby's off next week so next week's gonna be a dire episode it will be toby editing it but it'll be me filming it so i will do my best to remember you probably get a lot of me in the car just singing rubbish and chatting rubbish but you might like that so you never know um yeah i was saying lots of good videos coming out this week what well, the week i'm thinking of has actually been and gone because this is recorded you know a week behind but still there's good videos coming out that week as well because we've got videos stacked up for weeks. So if you haven't subscribed already, that is one really good reason. Another really good reason is that when we reach 75,000 subscribers, as of today, we've just gone over 72,000. So we are very, very close to giving away a £2,000 Tag Heuer watch completely free. We're just going to pick a subscriber at random to win a very nice watch indeed. And James, via the raffle site, won Tag Heuer watch off of us. And that's why he's brought in his G-Shock. So, you know, it could be you. It's free to do. Get on board. Also, like this video, it really helped me out. And don't forget to check out my raffle website, feelgoodcompetitions.com. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. That is it for this week. I'm going to go and sleep all weekend, and then hopefully we'll have a good week next week. That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>